What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48. Welcome back to the forest. You guys are hot, hot, hot for this series. So, you know, let's make some more videos, man. Um, I love this game. You love watching it. Let's do it. All right, we got a busy, busy day today. We're going to end the day. I'll tell you what we're going to do at the end of the day. We're going to end the day by placing down the main platform for my base, which should be anywhere between 800 and 1,000 logs to build. No, we will not be building it today. Uh, you know, put some logs in it, maybe. We'll see where we're at. But, yeah, it's going to take some time. It is definitely going to take some time. So, I think we're looking at storage at this point in the game. Um, you know, again, I'm going to make the platform, but I think before that, we need some storage uh, items in our inventory. I want a stick bag, a stone bag, a water pouch. Um, yeah, I, I also want to show you how to store rope and skulls. Um, there's two ways to store to store skulls, but the one way I'm not going to do right now, and this the the first way, the way I would do it at first is I use skull lamps, and you don't complete them, and then when you want the items, you just uh you know take apart the skull lamp. It's pretty. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of guys, dude. Are they running after me? They're running. I don't know if it's after me. Hold on, guys. Hold the horses. All right, I don't see them over here. Yeah, I saw the back scratcher running at me. The guy with all the arms on his back, I call him the back scratcher. And, uh, yeah, I saw him and his buddies running around like maniacs, but I don't know, maybe they weren't running after me, or maybe they were and they lost me. I, I don't know, but that, that has me quite nervous. Anyway, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go get some skins. We're going to get some, uh, we're going to get some rabbit skins mostly. Oh, I remember this. I built here one season. Is my, um, color grading, it's original, and this is default, it's just... It's a bright day, I guess. I built here one season. It's pretty cool. These rocks are annoying, though. The rocks make it, you know, not a great place to build at. It was it was a little frustrating with that. Um, I did some cool stuff with it, but... Yeah, I, I think you should be able to blow up those rocks with dynamite. I think that'd be pretty cool. Get them out of the way. But... Anyway, remember that yellow flag? That's the flag I have where the arrows are. Um, how many arrows can I hold? Wasn't it 30? How can I have 30 arrows? Oh, because... I, uh, never mind. I have max arrows. We don't need to go over there. Oh, there's a rabbit right there. Hold on. Where'd he go? I don't see him anymore. See, this is what I, I don't like hunting them in the trees. They're really hard to spot. Um, partially because there's, like, overgrowth and partially because uh, there's not much sun. So, I'm going to leave him alone. And we're going to go to our, our favorite rabbit hunting grounds. There it is, guys. Our favorite... Well, my favorite hunting grounds for rabbits. Um, you guys might have different spots, but this is my favorite. And let me just show you on the map where it is, in case you were wondering. Uh, it's a little bright, isn't it? There you go. You can kind of see where it is on the map. I think that... You see that thing to the um, down and to the right of me? I think that's... Actually, I don't know what that is. I think that's a... Uh, you know what that is? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, well, this is this is where it is on the map. I'm not really sure what that is. It looks like an arrow pointing down. Not really sure. All right, well, let's go ahead and hunt some rabbits. Okay, and I believe that's the last one I can get. I think you can only hold four skin at a time. Did I take the arrow? I don't know. <laughs> look at this stupid rabbit head. All right, so let's take a look at what we can make with these uh, with this fur. So I ended up with quite a few rabbit fur, and I went ahead and made a couple items. Number one, let me show you what I made. If you look right here, uh, the stick bag is at the bottom. Stick bag. It's one rabbit fur, three cloth, and two rope. I made the stick bag. The stick bag's right here, and it now holds my sticks. And it's awesome because you really need a lot of sticks in this game, and this thing doubles it. Instead of holding 10 sticks, you can hold 20. It's probably the first most important thing you can make. All right. The second thing I made was the small rock bag right here that holds the little uh, rocks for my slingshot. And the third thing I made was a pouch. All right. The pouch, if you look, if you look right here, the things I'm looking at are all crossed out because I already made them. Okay, so the third one up from the bottom is the pouch. That takes two rabbit fur, and that is this right here. And it's going to allow me to hold 30 blueberries, which is also really, really useful. All right, so now I want to see what else I can make with it. All right, I can make the quiver. Um, I don't think I'm going to stay out here and hunt another another two rabbits um, because I've been out here for a while, and I kind of want to do some other things today. We'll come back here again at some point, or maybe I'll even do it off video. I'm not really sure. Uh, but the quiver is really good for the arrows. Very important, very important. And the other thing I'm looking for, I did kill a lizard or two so i got some lizard skin and that's only for the stealth armor i don't use it so i'll just probably keep the, the the lizard skin over here and when i when my armor gets down you can use this for armor all right and the other thing i'm looking for is the rock bag the big rock bag and i'm not sure what i need for it but it doesn't seem to be on any of the skins i have 
Um, that's the water skin, the spear bag. The water skin and the spear bag are both very useful. Although I can't make the spear bag until I hunt boars, and they're a little bit harder to get. We're going to get those later on in the um, in the series. Uh, not too much later, but later on. Uh, the water skin is going to be very useful, and I don't really know what I need for the rock bag. Let me uh, let me look into this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be getting boar a lot sooner than we thought. Maybe next episode. We need it for the rock bag. The rock bag's super important. The rock bag, well, we can only hold five rocks right now. With the rock bag, we can hold ten. It's a real, real game changer. And we're going to need a lot of rocks. Uh, so, you know what? We might get bored next episode. The boar is actually on the way to the cockpit. So, I could make a video where I go to the cockpit, get everything there, and also kill some boar. It should be pretty dope. Uh, we'll probably do that next episode, though. Um, for this episode, uh, as far as, like, hunting animals goes, I got a lot of good stuff. I think I'm also going to make the water skin. Uh... Or should I make the spear bag? The spear bag... See, the spear bag's better, but I need the two boar skin. I don't know if I'm going to get three boar skin. I need one boar skin for the rock bag. I don't know if I'm going to get three. Let's just use this deer skin. We can kill more deer. Honestly, killing deer is not that big of an issue. Um, it is our major food source, too. And the water skin's great because we can fill it up with water and take it along. And it's, uh, it's basically a way for us to carry a lot more water. Although, to be fair, the fact that I can carry ten sodas probably makes the water skin not that useful. But whatever. I still like it. It's, it's dope. Let's get home. Oh, oh, stretch, stretch. Okay, it is the next morning. On the way home, or on the way back to base, I stopped by the cannibal camp. Ran in there, grabbed some dynamite. The main thing I wanted to go there for is dynamite. Uh, I also grabbed some more soda. Although I didn't get all the, I didn't get the rope. There was quite a few cannibals there. And it was getting dark and I really didn't want to fight. I didn't want to fight with them. So I, I didn't, but that cost me, you know, I, I wanted to get some more stuff and I couldn't, but that's okay. I did get the dynamite and that's what we're going to need the most. I came back, I put all my lizards and all my rabbits up here and we're looking pretty good now. Um, all right, let me show you guys how to store rope, okay, um, and skulls. So what you're going to do is you're going to come into your book, right? Let's say you have four rope and you're going to get more and you want to store it. There's no way to store rope, zero way except for this. The skulls, there's another way. You can make a catapult, and you could use the basket for the catapult to, score, to store the, the, the skulls, but I'm going to do it this way for now. Um, so what you do is you take a ceiling lamp, and you just put it somewhere. You're not going to be making it, so you just put it somewhere out of the way. There we go. And then you put the rope in, you put the skull in, and you leave it alone. And then what you do is when you come back and you want that rope or skull back, you hold down C, and you get them both back. There you go. And uh, that's the only way I know to store rope. And rope is important, especially once we get into... I don't know if I want to say it. Uh, there's so many cool things in this game. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So many people have never played this game before. Let me just put it this way. Rope is going to be important later on. It's important now. It's going to be really important later on. And it's going to be dope. You guys are going to love it. Crap, why did I just drop that? Why did I drop a dynamite? Wait, I didn't drop a dynamite. It looked like I dropped a dynamite. Maybe it was the way I was using this thing. Yeah, look at that. Did you see that? <gasps> I'm picking them up off that and dropping them. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta be careful. Yep, I, I'm picking them up through the wall. And I can't hold anymore. And then I'm dropping them. There's no point in going in the water. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Hold on. I can pick them up. I didn't think I'd be able to pick them up in the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these over here. Yeah, I need to be mindful of that. And then I'm going to come down here and look for them. There's one. And there's two. Woo! I don't want to lose dynamite. I mean, I can always get more, but it's just, it's just... There's no reason to lose it. That was just stupid of me. Although, you know, couldn't really foresee that. You know what's funny, guys? When I put up episode one, everybody in the comments, 50 of you guys in the comments told me to use the water things to get up on the roof. And I did it before you guys even told me. You know how happy it makes me? Like, a lot of times, most of the times with these games... By the way, here's the uh, water thing. You press C. See, it's got a little bucket there. You press C, and now it's filled up. Anyway, you know how many times in my life through doing YouTube, people be like, do this, and I didn't do it, and I felt bad, and then I just did it in a later episode? But when you guys tell me to do something I already did, that makes me happy, because now we're all on the same page. And that's really... Really freaking dope. So check out all these sticks I can carry. Now I can build this thing way quicker. Well, that's only 11, but I could have carried a lot more if I picked them up. That stick bag is my first storage item I make. Well, I guess technically I made other storage items first, but it's the it's the first one on my character that I think is the most important. All right, we're gonna we're gonna knock down some trees with some dynamite. 
So let me find this. Oh, this looks... Oh my god, look at this. Yes. Yes, sir. So before you knock down trees of dynamite, you want to make sure you have enough log sleds. I don't know if three is going to be enough. It probably will be, but I think I'll make another one just to be sure. And also, you're going to put the log sleds right in the middle of the dynamite path. Sometimes it'll blow the log sled up into the sky, but y y it won't destroy your log sleds. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, that is freaking cool. And I do have the modern axe, so I could chop down some trees by hand. I probably will. Uh, we also want to make a birdhouse, um, but I think I'm going to need logs for the birdhouse. So what we're going to do is, we're going to dynamite the hell out of these. I'm going to make another log sled. We're going to dynamite the hell out of these trees. Oh! Oh, not good. Oh, look at all cl climbing the trees and shit. This is what I'm talking about with the AI in this game. It's legit. Did I not hit him or? Yeah, I don't know if I hit him or not. All right, bro. Time for you to go. Bye bye. There you go. You're done. Wait, that wasn't a headshot? Okay. Oh, he's pissed. He's not happy. Ugh! He's dead. Oh, look at this guy jumping down on me. It's a little dark in here. So I'm going to put the thing up a little bit. M131. Yeah. The way the, I'm going to... I might... You know, I'm going to knock down this tree and get rid of it. Because I think it's blocking the sun a lot of the times. The thing is, it's collecting my sap. He's dead. Man. Those headshots are lethal, brah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to chop down some of these trees because like, it's just killing my son. Alright, so we're going to take that. We're going to take these guys and we're going to burn them. But we're going to burn them later because I'm busy. <laughs> Freaking rocks. There we go. I wanted my arrows back. Alright, you guys want to see some melee combat? This chick's pissing me off. There you go. There you go. How do you like that? Is this the first time I meleeed for you guys? It might be. I want to get the katana before I do any real melee, but... If there's only one of them, I can... I could take her out. There she goes. Nope, she's still alive. And she's dead. If you can't pick her up, she's still alive. Okay, so I'm going to put her over here with the other bodies. And then what we're going to do is, I'm going to wait uh, to take down this tree. I really want to, but uh, I'm going to wait. Um, oh, hold on. We're, ble uh, we're not bleeding, but we got the blood all over us. We got the blood. Come on, wash it off. Is it off? Yeah, it's off. All right, cool. So I'm going to take down this tree, but I'm going to wait until I get one of these uh, collector thingies. Um, wait, I'm going to wait until I get one of these, uh, you know, pots so I can make another collector thingy. And I'm going to make it on this tree right here. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a birdhouse on this. So let's go ahead and find the birdhouse. It's going to help me collect feathers. Normally I would use feathers for arrows, but because of the super arrows, the really good arrows, I don't really need the feathers that much, but I could use the feathers for other things. Plus, it's just nice to get them, and it's, it's a pretty cheap thing to make. And I do need logs, so we're going to TNT the hell out of this place and uh, get some logs first. So, where were we? Okay, so we're going to TNT right over here. So, let me go ahead and grab my dynamite. Okay, and light it up. And right there looks pretty good. Get out of there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Well, only five trees. Maybe six. Maybe I didn't see a six. That looks like a lot of trees. That looks like a lot of trees. So let's just pick these all up. And store them up. And then uh, that's going to be a good amount of logs. You know, just one piece of dynamite. It's pretty decent. I don't know if the dynamite calls in more cannibals. It very well might. But I, I really don't know. Uh, is it just me or is this part? Of, is this part of the world really dark in the woods? Like, it just feels really dark. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with the brightness, trying to get the brightness right uh, as we play. But I think I'm going to clear out this entire forest. I was going to let these trees grow back, but my theory is they're blocking the sun. I don't know. Maybe it's just a weird part of the map. I don't know. But I, I think I, my theory is these, um, these trees are blocking the sun. So I'll break out a lot of these trees. I don't know if all of them. I don't know how deep I'm going to go, but I'm going to, like, start from the beach and, you know, start really just, you know, destroying the trees. Uh, definitely this group right here. And then maybe that'll be it. You see how bright it is now when there's no trees in the area? That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, so did we get more... Let's go ahead and drink. Did we get more logs? Yeah, there's more logs down here. 
There might be quite a few more logs down here. I wonder how many... Tr I feel like I should have got more logs than that. Uh, yep, yep. A bunch of them rolled over here, of course. I wish the logs kind of, like... Sh showed up a little better in the game. Like when they're on the ground. I think that'd be... I think that'd be really, really helpful. You know, like, um... Like a Medieval Dynasty where you hold the Alt key. <laughs> like, that's what I want. In, like, every game I ever play from the rest of, like, Eternity. It's, it's a great mechanic. And you have to expend points in it. It's not like you just get it for free. So. Alright. That's all the logs I can see. I might be missing some. But that is okay. That's a decent amount of logs. So let's, um, let's put these down. And then I'm going to grab some sticks while I'm here. We're going to go finish the birdhouse. There we go. And some more sticks right here. I'm all tired. Okay. Let's go finish that birdhouse. And then once we finish the birdhouse... We're going to go uh, work on putting down the main platform of the base. Which is going to be ginormous. Just absolutely ridiculously... Like, just ridiculous. I mean, that's the best word for it, honestly. There we go. And that will, what that'll do is it'll um, attract birds and they will leave feathers behind. Let's go ahead and empty that. There's nothing in there. Or maybe I can't take it when I have the log in my hands. I don't know. And let's come on over here. Put this down. Okay. And, oh boy. So this is going to be... This is going to be something. Alright. So, what we're looking for... I'll do some of this ghost image stuff on camera. I'll do as much as, I, as much as I can. But I might have to cut some of this out. Because, you know... The ghost image thing is really interesting. It's hard to get right. And eventually, when, I, when once the Let's Play has been going for a little while... I will stop showing you most of the ghost image stuff. If, if I think it's going to be challenging. Uh, because... You know, it's it's good to show you the first time because it's like, oh, okay, you know, you learn some stuff. But after a while, it just gets to be a little bit, you know, a little bit much. So for this platform, we have to decide where the entrance is going to be. And I think this is a pretty good spot for the entrance. So then we're going to come up here. And we're going to measure where I want it to be up here. Or should we measure where I want it to be up there? I'm trying to think of how I want it to actually be built up there. I think um, maybe right here will be good. So I'm thinking, like, right here. So we keep that at the height we want it at. And we put down the first one right here. And then we go this way. I remember playing this game back in the day where there was no, like, none of these, Im like, uh, what, what is this called? Um, I, forget the, I forget the word is for this, it's like, freeform building kind of thing. It, it, it was never in the game. I don't think I want it to be up on that cliff, so I think right here will be just fine. All right, and that looks pretty good. So we'll go right in there. Yeah, sure. And now we go this way. Now, once you have a, a 90 degree angle, it, the, the item can snap into place. So if you like get in on, on a perfect 90 degree angle, watch. Snap. I love that. That is so unbelievably cool. So now we're going to do is we're going to come out here and we're going to go to where... Uh, this is going to go right to the right to the boat. But not past the boat. Oh, I'm already past the boat. Alright, so about right here. I don't want it to go past the boat. So we want that to snap into place. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Wait, why didn't it snap? Hold on. I missed the snap. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. So we want about right here. And then come out farther. And right about... Come on, snap. There we go. Alright, right about there should be good. That did snap, right? I'm going to make sure it snaps properly. Alright, so right there. And snap. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now you got to be careful swimming in this water. I've been told that sharks can eat you in this water. I've... I probably shouldn't say this, but I've never had it happen to me yet. <sighs> really tempting fate. Um, you know, hopefully it won't. We'll see. We shall see. So is that snapping out here? Or is that snapping right? Snap. Snap, snap, snap. I don't know. Nope, the snap will be more over here. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot for the snap. I would have got. A, I would have liked to get a little bit closer to the boat, but that's still an okay spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way across here. And anyone who's played this game is, is starting to get a pit in their stomach on how many logs this is going to take. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of logs. 
All right, snap. And they go all the way to the dock with this? Sure, why the hell not? I don't see a reason not to. Except for the fact that this thing is going to take a gajillion logs to build. It's going to take a while. <laughs> what are you going to do? Sometimes you just got to make a ridiculously large base. All right, you know what? I think that's far enough. We don't have to go all the way to the dock. I've got other ways to get to the dock from this platform that you guys will... Uh, if you um, have been following this like game, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then it's going to be a surprise. Don't say in the comments, guys. All right, so that's going to come up here. And this is going to be buried a lot of it, but that's okay. Not really... You know, I don't have to bury it. I really don't. What I could do is... I can bring it out to here, right? Make sure it's snapped. Then put a cut there. Bring it over to here. Make sure it's snapped. And then bring it this way. Make sure it's snapped. I love the fact that it snaps in a place. It's a huge, a huge deal for me. All right. Snap. Snap. And now this is the moment of truth. This is where we're going to have to eyeball it. There's no, there's no snapping here. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. Alright, and then we just snap. Alright, now this is where you, Now, normally you would, like, close this up, but no, you, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to leave an opening. And make sure it snaps, and an opening. Nope, hold on. Make sure it snaps, and then you don't click the left mouse button, you click E. And now it's finished. And what that's going to allow us to do is, is get underneath, you know... And we could do things underneath if we want, which we really don't have to, but we could. We could loot these. There's things you could do with the sharks. We've got booze bottles. Also, a lot of times when you're doing stuff in your base, um, you'll glitch through the floor. And if you can't, it's happened to me multiple times. And if you don't have a way to get underneath, you're going to be, you're going to have a bad time. This came out really, really good. I don't know if I want to use the P word. Perfect. But it came out really good. The only thing is maybe I could have brought this more over. I don't really like this gap down here, but it's it's really not that big of an issue. When your platform is so big, you can't see on the other end, you know you've done something right. And it's not even going to take a 1,000 logs, only 859 logs. I'm actually, uh, that's that's a little surprising to me. I thought it would have taken a lot, a lot more. All right, well, you know what? Let's just uh, spend the rest of this video logging this thing up. Why not? Okay, and one right there. There we go. Now, once you build this platform, you don't want to be blowing up trees next to it. Because those trees probably would have knocked it down. Or at least damaged it. Yeah, that's a lot of logs. Alright, it's going to be a little dark for you guys, no matter what. So, let's go ahead and brighten it up so you can see okay. There we go. Alright, so what am I looking at for the next few episodes? Um, I'm looking at the bone zone. We need to make a bone zone. Okay. Uh, we need to go get the, we need to go to the cockpit and hunt boars. That's 90% sure that's going to be next episode. Uh, we need to do a simple storage platform. Uh, because this thing ain't going to be ready anytime soon. And I need some kind of storage platform before this is actually ready. Um, so I'll probably make a very simple platform. Just, you know, or maybe I won't. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, to be honest. Come on. Where's the, it's hard to find the spot sometimes. There we go. Uh, and then I need to do farming for food and more. Uh, yeah, I need to set up some farm plots. Uh, maybe, I might even do that next episode too, setting up the farm plots. It's going to be important. I could grow blueberries for food. I can grow um, aloe vera for healing. And those will be the major ones, honestly. Healing and food is... Uh, oh, no, there's a stamina plant too. Yeah, there's a, there's a plant you can use to get stamina. And I really wish I didn't have to run all the way over there to do this. I guess you have to go to the hammer. All right, well, whatever. It's all good. Let's take out this light for you guys. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was really... I was. I know I've mentioned this a couple videos, but, I, you know, I keep reading the comments. I read all my comments, and um, I was really, really thrilled to see how many people have never played this game before. That makes me so happy because, you know, I'm uh, I'm bringing it to an audience that, you know, wasn't... That wasn't there. It doesn't know about it. It's amazing. It's amazing, guys. I've been playing this game for a long time. Like, when Seven Days to Die first came out, when I first started playing it, The Forest was right about that time as well. I mean, that's how long this game's been, like, out. And it is a full release. They released it, I don't know, at least a few months ago. Maybe even almost a year ago. 
So, uh, yeah, and I'm still I'm still playing it. I don't usually like released games because then all the big updates stop. And yeah, the big updates did stop for this game, but there's still so much to do. And um, people are watching it. That makes me super happy. But what people are not going to watch is dark videos. So I do think I'm going to call this one here. And uh, I'm going to throw the rest of these these logs in here. We'll go sleep through the night. And then I will be recording next episode. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.